In fact, the 22 players who start the match include only three non-internationals. The only man on the Liverpool side who hasn't played for his country is number eight, Sammy Lee. Ipswich bring in midfield player Steve McCall in place of the injured Alan Brazil. And the only other non-international is goalkeeper Paul Cooper, who saved a penalty here last season when the number four, Franz Tyson, threw mud at the ball to distract the kicker. Alex Hamill of Wolverhampton is the man in charge today. Two remarkable records at stake here. Liverpool unbeaten at home for 73 competitive matches. Ipswich beaten only once in their last 33 league games. That's Mariner on the far side. That was McCall to Murin. Mariner being partnered up front by Gates. And Mariner takes on Thompson. And there's a bad foul in the first minute by the Liverpool captain. Paul Mariner just showing how much confidence he's playing with by taking his man on in the opening attack and getting brought down heavily. Taken by Mills. Played in low for Gates and away by Ray Kennedy. There's Tyson. And again. Osman. Mariner's header. in trouble but uh, able to find Cohen who gets it back from McDermott and beats Burley oh lovely ball inside to Dalgleish and Cooper came to make a terribly important save Kenny Dalgleish had beaten the offside track there was no doubt about that the flag stayed down as Avi Cohen played the ball through and Cooper came to meet Dalgleish In by Cohen, and Cooper flapped a little bit, here's McDermott, hit uh, Burley, McDermott again, out to Lee. And it's going to come again to Abby Cohen, Phil Thompson is still forward, and away by Osman. McCall in trouble, pulled back for Ray Kennedy to shoot. Fierce attacks from Liverpool, but Ipswich repelled them both. And now Cohen coming forward for Liverpool. Oh, and a great run by Terry McDermott. Cooper's there again. The second time the goalkeeper has saved Ipswich with only 16 minutes gone. And what a brilliant run through by Terry McDermott. And Abby Cohen is playing some lovely passes from the middle of the field. That's the second time Cohen has put the ball through like that. Another good ball from Abby Cohen. Johnson's header back to Dalgleish. Sammy Lee making a run inside. Still Dalgleish. Johnson driven across. Oh, here comes Phil Neal. What a shot! Blinding drive from Phil Neal. And these Liverpool fullbacks playing a very important part in both the build-up and the finish. Because that attack, once again, was started by his opposite number on the other side of the field, the Israeli international and left-back, Abby Cohen. It was Cohen who fell over and led him through. Here's Tyson. Oh, Walk is there, what a fine save by Ray Clements. From the top scorer among First Division players this season, John Walk, who's got 12 already, including European games. He met that with the header, scored with a header last week against Leeds, and this week saw Clements turn it over. 
But what a great save by Ray Clements. One of the reasons he's such a good goalkeeper is he can be out of action for so long and then react with a save like that when he is called upon. Muir into McCall. And Ipswich have got two men in great positions in the centre. And here comes Mariner with a great chance and Cohen is there. Paul Mariner with the first clear break for Ipswich through the middle. Played for, to him first of all by McCall and Mariner wanting to make sure allowed Abby Cohen to make the timely tackle. Away by Johnson, only as far as Tyson! Oh, it's there! And Franz Tyson scores the goal that puts Ipswich ahead against the run of play. David Johnson headed out the corner from Nick Mills and Tyson drove it low past Ray Clements. And so what a week it's been now for the Dutchman. Tyson made a goal for Muren on Wednesday, scores today on the ground where he was involved in that strange incident over the penalty last year. And Liverpool with McDermott on the counter. Lee, Sunis. It hits Lee, it comes to Kennedy. And now to Cohen. And now to Lee. Neil. So the first division leaders take the lead and Liverpool, unusually for them, a goal down at home. score of Franz Tyson who would have played for Holland tonight against West Germany in Eindhoven had he not been playing for Ipswich today that's Osman stretching Liverpool again that was Phil Neal and here's Sunis Strut Gates Actually a question now of whether Ipswich can keep their nerve. Kennedy, Dalgleish. Dalgleish goes down. The tackle was by Burley. Nothing has been given except the corner. And there wasn't a very strong appeal from the Liverpool players either. It's left Dalgleish hobbling though. Kennedy's header, oh, and over the crossbar by Russell Osman. Brilliant clearance, really, right in front of his goalkeeper. Ray Kennedy had the header, that was powerful enough, but Osman reacted so well. And a wasted corner by Dalgleish, of all people. Well, they're talking a lot about Terry Butcher, but this lad alongside him, Russell Osman, is surely a future England player as well. He's in the B squad for next week. Deceptive, the turn there by Muren, fainting to play it one way and going outside to Mills. Muren again. McCall. Muren. Oh, that was beautifully done. Osman. Mills. Walk. Gates. Gates. I think he was just shoved by Phil Thompson as he got his shot in there, Eric Gates. Sinus. Cohen. Dalgleish. Oh, the linesman's flagged for a foul by Tyson, and the referee has given a penalty. Now, Tyson, the man who scored the goal, has been penalised, and a penalty has been given to Liverpool for the tackle on Dalgleish. Ipswich surround the referee. It looked innocuous to them, 
the linesman actually in my view made the difference there he flagged and Alex Hamill looked across he saw the flag and he pointed then to the penalty spot Mick Mills trying to make the protest but also calm the others down and don't forget what happened last year when McDermott's penalty was saved here by Cooper and Tyson strangely the man who threw mud at the ball that day has given this one away now bear in mind as well that Cooper has saved it eight out of the last 11 penalty kicks he's faced will he make it nine out of 12 or will McDermott score it's a fascinating personal battle this one never mind its significance in the match oh he went the right way but it's still gone in McDermott equalizes for Liverpool with his 11th goal of the season for them and Paul Cooper kicks the ball away Tyson is still arguing about the original decision and what has happened here is that Ipswich now have turned their attention towards the linesman who I think really made the decision there he flagged and the penalty was put away by McDermott and it's 1-1 So what a match now. Johnson for Liverpool. Butcher to Murin. And all this is happening, incidentally, on a day when this match is being shown on Dutch television. So they'll have plenty to talk about in Holland after what's happened to Tyson here. Here's Murin, the other Dutchman. Sunis. Dalglish. And Tyson, just for a minute, has lost his head, rather. He shoved Dalglish there. It's a reaction to what's happened. Burley. And John Walk. Well, that came at a very good time as far as Liverpool were concerned. They were a goal down and rocking, really. call for Ipswich nicely the end of an absorbing first half with as many talking points as you might have expected from a match of this importance and it all revolves around Franz Tyson whose shot put Ipswich in front and who then gave away the penalty from which Terry McDermott equalized for Liverpool so a half-time score between the teams first and second in the table before the match Liverpool 1, Ipswich Town 1 and unveiled at Anfield this afternoon a painting from which a limited edition of prints are being offered showing Liverpool celebrating their 12th championship success at Anfield at the end of last season so it should be set up for a cracking second half with Liverpool now attacking the cop end score last season in the corresponding fixture was 1-1 and that's where we stand at the moment today Mick Mills Lee so Gleach back to Neil there goes Johnson Butcher's tackle corner Played back to Neil and wasted. Neil was hoping to impress today because uh, with Viv Anderson out of the England squad, the choice of the England right back must surely be between Neil and the man on the opposite side, Mick Mills. Here's Walk. can play on either flank <laughs> Russell Osman coming out of defence Mariner going through the centre and an offside flag
so Neil now for Liverpool Thompson Ray Kennedy well forward in this attack leaving space on the left flank for Abby Cohen to come forward and he finds Hansen Butcher and Dalgleish here comes Lee Lee to Dalgleish it's back in with Sammy Lee and he's missed it and the flag stayed down so that goes down as a great chance for Liverpool Lee played the first ball to Dalgleish the return was timed to get Lee in the defenders looked a little bit towards the linesman but Lee shot wide under pressure here's Mariner McCall away from Ray Kennedy and out to Burley and Ipswich beginning to show promise in attack again McCall can come left with two players here Mills is the man on the ball Muren has now got it back again to Mills Neil and again there goes Lee Paul oh, McDermott's inside and unmarked McDermott <laughs> actually taking that on the volley as it dropped it wasn't a bad effort at all Sammy Lee played the ball in and quite correctly too because McDermott with one of those probing runs of his had found a lot of space took it quickly on the volley and the effort was wide this is Cohen McDermott Oh, he only pulled it back as far as Walk and he gave it to Lee and this is Sunis and now it's wide to Phil Neal Lee again Sunis Johnson Kennedy Cohen and McCall there again Hansen coming in quickly behind Mariner gives it to Sammy Lee Hansen wants it played back in the door was shut by Arnold Muren. Gates, that's a lovely ball by Gates. What a developing player he's proved to be this season. This is Burley. McCall. Walk. Mills. Calvish. Ray Kennedy. Johnson is the man chasing this for Liverpool. And Johnson's in there, and Cooper makes his third vital save of the match because Johnson there got the better of Russell Osman. The ball was played long, and Johnson got ahead of the centre half and got a header in that looked to be going over the goalkeeper for a split second. But Cooper in this form, refusing to be beat. developing into the sort of passing side now that Liverpool have sometimes been described as although that was one of their fora passes by Abby Cohen giving away a corner it's because Ipswich have been stringing some good passes together that they've managed to have a say in the territorial side of this match there are 20 minutes to go and Mills will take the corner Is Murin. Oh, and Butch is in there, and Clements for the second time. A fine save from an instant header. It was Walk in the first half, it's Butcher this time. But the net result is the same. Clements keeps it out the net. Gates. 
Mills. So both goalkeepers distinguishing themselves. And the pass to Burley. Nothing else much happening down the right-hand side, so he was looking for Gates. Kennedy. Gates back to Tyson. That's Hansen to Neil. Oh, and it's put Ray Kennedy through. <laughs> Kennedy claims that Cooper saved it, but the referee's given a goal kick. And that happened because Russell Osman went to mark Kenny Dalgleish, and the ball went just over his head, and there was no defender in the space behind. Ray Kennedy went on, cracked it with his left foot over the bar, he claimed that Cooper touched it, the referee said not. And that's the reason for the little joke there between two old friends, Cooper and Johnson, who used to be in the same Ipswich team. Match being watched by the biggest crowd of the season at Anfield. 48,084. So the two records that we mentioned at the start are still intact. Liverpool extend their unbeaten home run to 74 matches overall and Ipswich have been beaten only once in their last 34 league games and are unbeaten in the first division this season Franz Tyson involved in the two goals that came in the first half and in the second half the two teams matching each other in every department which is why we had a final score here at Anfield of Liverpool 1, Ipswich 1